Now you can either calculate gross domestic product through the expenditures approach or the income or the income approach. The expenditures approach is what we're going to be focusing on in macroeconomics and it counts the amount of cash that's used in terms of purchasing those goods. So we're going to be looking at things such as personal consumption, investment, government expen expenditure. That's all the, the amount of money that is used in producing that good. It's the expenditures on items. There's also the income approach. We can look at all the income that is derived from producing all those goods. But we're going to focus on the expenditure approach and go through those type of equations. The expenditures approach of calculating gross domestic product is saying that the gross domestic product is made up of consumption, investment, government spending, and net exports. So in terms of an equation, you will have Y, which is gross domestic product, is equal to C, consumption, plus I, investment, plus G, government spending, plus XN, which is net exports. Personal consumption is all that in the economy that is spent by consumers, such as you, you and I, on goods, durable goods, which are things such as cars and DVD players, semi-durable goods, such as clothing and stationery, as well as non-durable goods, such as food and petrol as well as services, going to the doctor, getting your hair cut. All the amount of all the consumers that spend on all these types of goods is made up of part of, as part of consumption. The next type of gross domestic product of expenditure is investment or gross investment spending. Investment is given by what firms spend on equipment, machinery, um, construction, as well as changes in inventories. So investment is made up of what all firms spend on products such that they use in the production process. Equipment, machinery, construction, and very importantly, changes in inventories. Inventory changes are needed because those products may not be produced within that given year. The next type of spending is government spending. It's what government spends on public works such as making roads, hospitals, education, um, houses. All that the government spends is included in this gross domestic product because it's produced within that country. It doesn't include transfer payments from the government. Net exports just measures the amount of the value of your exports minus the value of your imports. Now we're going on to the income approach towards calculating GDP. This is very rarely tested in the Economics 1 course. However, it's good that you should know it. Now the income approach calculates all those types of incomes that should make up GDP and adds all the factors that aren't included in the expenditures approach. These can include wages, you add wages, rents, proprietor's income and corporate profits and then you add indirect business taxes, consumption of fixed capital which is depreciation as well as net foreign factor income. Adding up all those terms will give you the income approach and should give you the same value of gross domestic product. Now, you're going to need to know a lot of equations in terms of calculating not only GDP, but a variety of other factors. So in this section, you have to try and learn all these equations so that in the MCQ test, when you get them, you're going to get a whole lot of figures and you need to calculate what gross domestic product is, what net investment is, and now we've gone to some other ones, which is net domestic product, which is gross domestic product minus depreciation. National income, which is net domestic product minus net foreign factor income, income minus indirect business taxes. An important part of the aspect that we're going, of this course that we're going to be looking at is personal income. Now, disposable income is equal to personal income minus taxes. So disposable income is what we have left to either spend or save. And in spending, that is consumption. So you can either consume goods or you can use that money and save it. So that's a very important part we're going to look at and we're going to try and model that and its relation to income and its relation to individuals.